30. Coffee with this day. A couple years ago, a few years ago, we met James Taylor, put together a bunch of books called uh, Shocked and Amazed. James has a hobby, circus side shows, mm -hmm. freak shows. I was looking at what he called it, exotic and variety exhibitions. Well, there you go. James and his buddy Dick Horn get together about a year ago, open up the Dime Museum, which is an unqualified hit. It's a museum dedicated to sideshow freaks and oddities. Sure. Tonight they're having their first fundraiser. We're going to be down at the Charles Theater. And Dick and James got the man in the center. Yeah. A living legend. <laughs> Red Stewart to come to town. Red is the, most, is the foremost toward swallower in the world. Dude. Gentlemen, welcome to the Eyewitness News Morning Edition. Dick to the left, Red in the center, James to the right. Morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, guys. Dick, good morning. Good morning, Don Marty. Good morning. How are you, Dick? I'm fine, Don and Marty. How are you doing? We're, we're doing, doing, we're doing swell. Great. James? You how are you guys doing this morning? Great. <laughs> We've answered that question. Yeah, listen, you're, you're, having a, you're actually having a fundraiser tonight. Let's talk about this real quick. Then, Red, we'll get to you in a second. At the Charles Theater, Dick, what they, and, uh, James, what's going on? Well, we're going to be showing a, a big screen print of Freaks, the movie that was uh, produced in the late 1930s uh, and became sort of a a very controversial film. It was banned briefly at one time. Uh -huh. uh, it's rarely seen on a big screen today, even though it's enormously popular. You can get video copies of it at most uh, Video American and uh, right. Blockbusters. Blockbusters, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, you, it's pretty much everywhere available yeah, now, but for years you couldn't see it anywhere. It's banned in Sweden until the 60s, banned in Great Britain until the 60s as well. Because? Yeah. Uh, the idea of showing all those human oddities kind of all clumped together, the half boys and the fat ladies and the human skeletons, it really creeped people out for a lot okay. of decades. Right. Oh, I but, but it's actually a very, very gentle movie and yeah, very interesting because yeah. The, yeah. the human oddities themselves are wonderful actors. Yeah. Cool. Now that's oh, tonight, yeah. 7 to midnight at the Charles, mm -hmm. 25 bucks a person, refreshment yes, service. If you got nothing to do tonight, you want to hang out, hit the Charles at 7. Now you bring Red to town. Oh, Red, yeah. yeah. good morning, down from Philadelphia. Yes, I am. Now, your profession is, I mean, what is your profession listed on your income tax return? Uh, let's see, performer, licensed electrician, plumber, master <laughs> of all trades, and jack of none. So, so sword swallowing is not your full-time job? Sword swallower, fire eater, glass eater, fire, used to be glass eater. How I did you get into this? Beauty. How How did you get into it? I was hitchhiking around the country back in the 60s, and... Uh, I got a job to say, how would you like to learn how to swallow swords and stuff? I said, sure, why not? And been doing it ever since, since 1967. I've always been curious. Is sword swallowing something everybody could learn if they put their mind to it? True. Do they, you can't? Proven fact, yes. Doctors and surgeons do it every day. <laughs> okay. How <but> so? <laughs> yeah, but they, they use anesthesia. <laughs> uh, well, that's besides the point. <laughs> you know, I just realized something. We're out on Charles Street here. Yeah, a little noisy. You know, you go no. to swallow that sword, somebody's going to have an accident. <laughs> somebody's going to see this, and I mean, you're going to careen, man. Uh, well, we'll uh, give it a try there, <laughs> if you'd uh, like to me to do it. I'm the only known sword swallower, at least was back in the 60s, that uh, swallowed broadswords and car axles. Car axles? Car axles. Model A car axles. This is a replica of El Cid sword, that, or also known as Charlemagne. Okay. Really? Plato st steel. Wow. Oh, wait, I, t well, I gotta tell you, uh, can you do this for us? Sure, why not? Is this gonna gross us out? I don't know, I'm, I'm, you're over there, I'm here, so. <laughs> okay. uh, you guys we'll let you know. <laughs> this, this, I, I tell you what, uh, ladies and gentlemen, a, a living legend, the best in the world, Red Stewart. Okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, all right. That's the way to get iron in your system, guys. I'll bet Man, it is. Man, I got to tell you something. How long did it take you to learn how to do that? 15 minutes, four tries. Really? And I have taught two people in 1991. One did it in 15 minutes, and another guy did it in his first and every time. Wow. By the way, kids, That's you're watching at home. Is. Don't do that. Yeah, do not try it no, at home. No, do not <laughs> try this at home. Do not me. try this at home. The man is a trained professional. Do you? Do you still perform street theater around? Uh, I haven't for the time. I've been uh, more like semi-retired, help the family out, things of that nature there in Philly. Okay, what else are you going to do tonight besides the sword? 
Oh, I'll be doing some raves that I've been doing for uh, uh, the last time I was here. I'll be doing the pin cushion as well as uh, maybe some blockhead and some fire manipulation or fire eating. It's okay. what drilling. The common man is. That, that is incredible. Listen, we want to see you do that again in just a second. Mm -hmm. James, how's the Dime Museum going? Oh, uh, Dime Museum's been going great. Uh, what I think is really kind of funny about it is that uh, a day that we don't have people come down from Wilmington, Delaware is a day that we're not even opened. Uh, they're coming from all over, and I, Dick and I are loving it. It's just been great. Very good. Well, this is very cool. Can we get a real wide shot pad of the building? Just want to see exactly, you know, where, yeah. where, where, where exactly we are on Charles Street. We're actually on Maryland Avenue. Maryland we're Avenue. We're on Maryland? But we're right across the street from Charles mm -hmm. Street. Okay, <laughs> yes. so to speak. I'm yeah. sorry, I thought we were on Charles. <laughs> no, well, uh, you probably, because Atomic Books used to be on Charles, they're now next door to us here on Maryland Avenue, too. Oh, I okay. gotcha. And you, you remember Atomic Books, I'm sure. Sure. Uh, so so we're on Maryland Avenue, you know, just... 1808 Maryland Avenue. That mm -hmm. puts it just south of North Avenue. That's yeah, correct. just south of North. Yeah. Okay. All right, listen, mm -hmm. hey, Red, can we get you to do that for us one more time as we it's hand you in a mug? You. Uh, commode? <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. I love it. You're welcome. Just what the world needs. I think it's nice that Pat wore a glove for you today. <laughs> mm, to deliver that. And one. sanitary too. <laughs> yeah, wait, could, could you swallow the cup? Uh, if we do, I'll have to pull it through and start all over again. Oh no, we don't want to do that. Hey, listen, let's see that sword one more time. If, if you, okay. if you will. Yeah, sure. Why not? Do you always have to lick it wait first? Wait a minute. Uh, I just lubrication does make it easier. I don't need to, if you like, but uh, I'll do it anyway. I think everybody loves my mouth. We're looking at Hausner's ball of string behind you. Yeah, which you I'm going to well. get to in a second, yeah. by the way. Yeah, there's the double, the double lick. Oh, oh brother, okay. I got to tell you, man. Whoops. Oh, I got to tell you. Hello, America. Stand by for news. Uh, oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah. Hey, listen, we got to wrap this up in a second, but I just noticed something, Dick and James. I didn't realize you all had the Hausner's ball of string. We have a Hausner's ball of string. Uh, yes. To be perfectly honest, uh, we were the underbidders on the original Hausner's ball of string in, from Hausner's restaurant. Mm -hmm. Laura Dragula, a local artist, actually reenacted this ball of oh, string. Okay. Ah, and it's okay. an exact duplicate. Yep. Uh, and she got permission from the family to call it the famous ball of string. So okay. this is the Hausner's famous ball of string. Oh, now we good. are the only city in the world with two balls of string. Dueling balls of string, as a matter of fact, in and, the front of shop windows. And yours is, right. yours is far cleaner. Ours is much nicer. Yes. All right, listen, guys, we've got to go. Hey, listen, tonight, 7 o'clock, Charles Theater, the Dime Museum's on Maryland Avenue. And I'll be there through the weekend. We'll talk to you later, guys. Yeah, Thank you, you better. Okay. Thanks, right. See you there. Fantastic. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I, I think they've got a website. Oh, I'm sure they have a website. Yeah, they do. We hot link to their website from the morning edition site at WJZ.com. Okay. And they're also in the uh, in the uh, phone book under Dime Museum of uh, American Dime Museum. Okay, the museum is their dream. Uh, most Americans view education as a vital path to achieving their goals, whatever they are. In this morning, the